Feminist Weighted Return on Common Equity, or WRRCE, which the Public Utility Commission encourages them to use because it makes their profits look to be about half what they actually are. Now, the theologian John Wesley, and I'm wildly paraphrasing here, said that money in itself is not bad. It's what you do with it. And in this case, what Alabama Power did not... metal elements that hold the value for the benefit of their shareholders. Oh, and you should also hold the corporate officers harmless from liability on any discoveries unearthed at Plant Barry, the train station of the Deep South. Don't cover it up, dig it up. Thank you. Thank you for your comment. The closure plan does not provide a description of analyses as to how pumping to reduce contamination post-closure will impact groundwater levels. Additionally, Alabama Power's proposition that natural attenuation over the course of several decades is an effective means to comply by the CCR rule directly conflicts with regulations to provide a means of elimination at the submission of a closure plan. The approval of this plan would leave coal ash, leachate, and groundwater for perpetuity. I would like to conclude by stating that ADEM's granting of this closure plan directly conflicts with CCR rule standards and should therefore support the argument that our state authority is unable or unwilling to hold CCR regulatory power at the acceptable level dictated by the place Alabamians at risk due to the proximity of this pond to the Mogo River and Hensaw Delta system, which supports ecological resources in the area. For these reasons, the EPA should deny ADEM's CCR program and provide protections that our state deserves and which our current state authority is directly threatening. Thank you. Thank you for your comment. I have long been concerned about the coal ash pond at Plant Berry which for decades has been leach leaching arsenic and other heavy metals into the groundwater and polluting our watershed. Alabama Power's own reporting on this issue makes this fact utterly clear. Alabama Power's current plan to cap in place more than 21 million tons of coal ash along the banks of the Mobile River will continue to leave millions of tons of ash in contact with groundwater which ensures further pollution of the mobile Tinsaw River Delta. Simply put, ADEM's approved many residents that live along the Delta and along Mobile Bay are subsistence fishermen, relying on their daily catch to feed themselves and their families. Currently, there are a raft of fish consumption advisories for several species of fish throughout the Delta. Anglers are advised to not eat any fish that come out of the Mobile River. Many of these fish are contaminated with legacy toxins like mercury <coughs> and dioxin, but the ongoing groundwater pollution at Plant Berry is not helping matters either. It is the duty of the state to protect these anglers and the land that they love from further threats and to turn back the tide of industrial pollution and its deleterious effect on our watershed. This cannot happen with the current permit granted for cap in place. In closing, it is imperative that the state of Alabama heeds the strictures of the federal coal ash rule and implements permitting programs that protect and not harm the health of our natural world and our citizens. As Alabamians, we want to know that our government has our best interest at heart, that it cares about the life of our watershed and the life of its citizens. ADEM's actions in implementing the coal ash program, which allows utilities to pollute our waterways in violation of the CCR rule, shows that that is not the case. We ask the EPA to finalize the denial of ADEM's CCR program so we can at least hope for a better tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you for your